About 10 years ago, we put in this floor radiant heat system and looking back, I have no regrets. Before we poured the floor, this is what it looked like. The white on the ground is the bubble wrap. Then you can see the wire mesh and then the PEX tubing that we zip tied to the wire mesh. This manifold in the middle of the house distributes the heat throughout the entire house. It's actually not as complicated as it looks. There are four zones or four thermostats. Each thermostat is controlled by this box here. When the thermostat calls for heat, then a relay will turn on the pump for that zone. These two pumps are for the in-law suite and these two pumps are for the main house. These two pumps here, this one, and this one work in tandem. When the boiler heats up the water, these pumps move it to the manifold room in the middle of the house. Once the water is in the manifold room, then each zone pump can do its job. This valve right here mixes the hot water with a little cooler water so you can get the exact temperature to go through the floor. These black arrows on here to show the flow until I got used to it, these were very helpful. Here's the expansion tank. As the fluid expands and contracts, this allows for that expanding and contracting. Here's where you bleed the air out of the system at the beginning. Here's a set of valves that allows you to put fluid into the system, which we use propylene glycol. I use this booster pump to build pressure into the system. I add the propylene glycol into this bucket and then pull it into the system under pressure. Here's the boiler that services the two houses. The furnace pulls fresh air from outside of the house and the other pipe is the exhaust. You'll want to make sure that these pipes are separated. Here's the exhaust pipe and all the way over here, 10 feet away is the intake. If you don't have them this far apart, the exhaust will put moisture into the intake It'll freeze and it'll block it and the boiler won't work. This screen will be filled with ice. Furnace needs to know how cold it is outside, so this sensor gives that information. The boiler also makes hot water for the house, and this is the hot water that goes into the showers and the sinks. And here's the pump from the boiler into the hot water tank. This pump actually pumps the hot water throughout the house, and this timer tells how often to pump it throughout the house. Way even the furthest sink gets hot water. This space heater requires no electricity, so if there's no electricity, you can keep the heat on. It only heats the air, not the floor. Once the concrete slab is warm, you can see how consistent the heat is. In between floors, we use these aluminum fins to keep everything warm between the joists. So that's the basics of our floor radiant heat system. I really like this system over forced air because your furniture is warm. This system heats the furniture and the floor, not the air. It's nice and quiet and it makes you feel a little warmer. The materials cost as much as any other system and if you're doing the labor, it's definitely worth it. After installing all the other types of heating systems, I would definitely recommend Floor Radiant Heat. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.